Art to me is really putting yourself in your work. That's what creates the real art. The beauty of being an older artist, I think, is you are not afraid to fail. Because by the time you're 50, maybe you failed. I wanted to create a space for artists over the age of 50. I created this website called fogestudios.com. It was a play on words for old fogies because I didn't want to be embarrassed about being old. I wanted to say my age, not 39 and holding. I wanted to be proud of it. This is my studio. So I hang up all my frames and I hang up all my skulls and then they really speak to one another. Oh, hi, he's losing his teeth. I've had actually artists here that say, your art scares me. I'm like, good. It's called Dadaism and it's a type of art form where you make something not out of the local materials. My skulls are found. You can tell by the level of weather on them. So I really like to bring them back to life and make them beautiful again. With Fogue, I've modeled it after opposite of what galleries do. The artists here make 85% of the sale. It's their art, it's their money. And a lot of people probably that are gallery people think I'm crazy. It makes me emotional because it's, it's beautiful. So if, you know, if you're 65 years old and you feel like a has-been, especially a woman, and you feel like you're not important anymore, you're important here. Hi, Brandon. Good, good. good to see you. All right, so are you going to show me around? Are you I am. Show me this great place? Yeah, let's go. What we try to do is have a real variety of the artists here and lots of different mediums. I don't want any overlap, so there's no kind of cannibalization of sales. Each artist has their own voice here. I love art that comes from someone's soul. And it means something. Story. Yeah, and it makes a story. I want people that are here to really be digging from within. When I got laid off and everybody over 50 in the company I worked for, for the most part, got let go. I couldn't even get an interview. I've got a really good portfolio, but nothing. I could not find work. I needed to create something for people over 50. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do this Fogue thing. I went to GoDaddy. I looked up Fogue and I wasn't really sure how I was going to spell it, right? Like, does it have umlauts over it or like, uh, no, no, that's Fog. But it was so turnkey. I remember I had a website, gosh, 15 years ago, but I had to pay somebody to write code. Now it's just drag and drop. It just started as an idea and a website. And I don't know what I'm, how I'm going to make any money, what I'm going to do, but all I know is I'm going to create this community. Yeah, do you want to show this project? Um, sure. My studio has to have some sort of age and decay to it. Age and decay. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Ruby, um, our crazy abstract artist, painter. You call crazy? You girl. <laughs> Jules. Brandon, this That's is Julian De Puma. So they featured our gallery, but Julian got a feature story. He's kind of a big deal. Mostly, right? <laughs> oh, it's looking good. Yeah. Karen was one of the very first people that signed on. We call them the Fogo G's. The Fogo G's. Yeah, she's a Fogo G she's too. She's a Fogo G too? Okay. Yeah, she's like a Fogo Yogi. Yeah. A lot of galleries are not, the artists are not super supportive of each other. There's a whole lot of me first. I know a lot of competition. And yeah. this place is just super like a family vibe. Uh -huh. We've all gotten to the point in our careers where we're like, we're doing it because we love it. We aren't doing it because we want to be the next Andy Warhol. We just love what we're doing and it shows in our work. Oh my God, that would actually be a great picture. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than selling an artist's art to prove to them that what you're doing isn't a waste of your time and people want you and your soul in their home. That makes me so, so happy. But that's not what we're doing here. We're not in it for the money. We're in it for the passion. For us in here, it's, it's what we have to do.